All right, uh, hello everybody. Welcome to this live session. I believe you can hear my voice and uh, you can see my screen at your end. Um, well, the uh, bank holiday is now over. We expect market momentum, market volatility to return to normal uh, beginning from tomorrow. Okay, as market is uh, is closing for today, we expect to see better price action from tomorrow. Okay. All right, without any waste of time, let's look into the Forex Factory economical calendar for tomorrow to see those high impact news announcements that are scheduled uh, to be released. We have just one high impact news announcement coming from the sterling pounds axis. The average earnings index uh, that will be released tomorrow uh, just uh, within the London Open uh, hour. Okay, that's coming from the sterling pounds axis. So you want to be careful trading all sterling pounds crosses tomorrow uh, around this news release hour because uh, this uh, news announcement can actually spike the market, uh, especially if you are an intraday trader. Okay, all right, looking into the uh, charts right now, uh, let's see. Uh, the euro against the American dollar, which is a pair that we just got involved. Uh, we're actually trading within this uh, channel. We're trading to see if we can get the next string to the upside, uh, which can earn us uh, plus um, 80 to 100 pips. All right, plus 80 to 100 pips. Uh, that is what we are expecting to see. We hope uh, that will uh, happen by tomorrow. So we need patience. But if price uh, comes back down, well, I am sorry. Uh, this trade is going to end up as a loss. Uh, but for now, I am very confident. I am very optimistic that we will have price uh, push to the upside to the upper boundary of this channel okay in my view euro against the american dollar is uh, changing direction is pushing to the upside and the best uh, course of action is to keep is to keep uh, taking trades in that direction all right so keep this trade just hold that trade running the next one is the new zealand dollar against the canadian dollar which was a trade we took uh, uh, earlier today although the entry came a bit late uh, but at any rate we are sitting in uh, a small profit uh, right now well that is not um, something to celebrate at this time because it is still too small uh, we want to see price come all the way down in fact in this um, this setup we are it looks like we are we are we have the advantage of um, having the three SME uh, coming together and the bounce happening right off the dynamic area of um, resistance so we should be very confident to let this trade run i expect to see price uh, further uh, push further down okay in fact uh, i expect to see this movement this projection project you, know, you can see the swings in themselves all right that's the swing um, i expect to see this overall swing that projection that's what I expect to see uh, to the downside all right um, so for me we still have more downside to go so be very patient with this uh, trade the New Zealand dollar against the Canadian dollar uh, hopefully we are going to see more downside uh, with this pair okay all right so just a quick update here let's keep the trade running next one is New Zealand dollar against the uh, American dollar in the um, forward time frame uh, this pair has taken out the uh, key level of support in the one hour time frame you can see that level of support uh, for tomorrow I expect that price will still make some pushes to the downside uh, maybe to the daily level of support so be very careful clicking on your buy button for tomorrow on the New Zealand dollar against the American dollar uh, it is best for us to wait around this area. This is where we'll be looking for our entries. All right. Uh, for tomorrow, I expect price to keep pushing to the downside 
in the New Zealand dollar against the American dollar. It's just that uh, I didn't want to start trading against this uh, change of direction. All right. Otherwise, I would have clicked on my sell button, uh, driving price all the way here and closing out my trade. That is quite risky. If you, if I do that, I may not be able to sustain a good win loss ratio. Okay. All right. So let's just keep waiting and uh, watching and waiting to see if we get price come down here then from there on we want to piggyback up uh trading that market flow all right the market flow in that direction all right um let's uh, look into the next pair the swiss franc against the, uh, the japanese yen well i wanted to show you that this is quite um this is a bit of a low quality setup that we have in the air around this level of resistance and that we will not be able to take that trade because uh, this is a low quality reversal formation uh, at any rate you can see how price is already jumping to the upside uh, that doesn't stop uh, traders from placing their sell stop order uh, just your people below that um, that reversal formation then their stop loss above but for us it is a low quality setup we are not going to uh, get involved with this one okay just want to show you uh finally the euro against the uh, swiss franc and this is the one hour time frame well remember the setup itself is coming from the uh, week from the weekly time frame where we find price um reacting off a key level of support with that reversal right here this is still very valid and uh, we are still following it very closely to see uh, when we get hint in the shorter time frames of a possible reversal um, in the daily time frame well it seems surprise is still uh, going to make some little downside uh, more so that I don't like what is happening in the uh, one hour time frame where we have this channel formation well if price is going to make it to the upside that is very possible we can get a reaction of the lower boundary of this uh, channel and from there on price can push to the upside and there again it might come back down okay it's a similar price behavior with the euro against the american dollar uh we already have um uh, a trade in the euro against the american dollar a low quality setup so we are going to stand out all right we are not going to take any trade here for now let's just uh, be patient and don't risk too much in this euro pairs okay all right so that's uh, basically it uh, nothing more to talk about for now the uh, holiday seems to have affected a bit of a price action so we just need to be a bit patient uh, hopefully those um, nice uh, entries will develop for us to uh, take some trades so just keep uh, the current trades running um we'll keep following and whenever we find valid entries we will definitely uh, let you know meanwhile if you have questions or contributions feel free send them across to us and we'll be very happy to respond to them do have a nice time bye bye